So, in life, we all going to live and we're going to have new things. You're going to have a new car, new house. You know, you go, you go new places, right? Yes. And um, make it a new sneakers, new clothes, right? But the one thing that is so important in life is that you need a new beginning. And the new beginning is a beginning in Jesus Christ, right? They try to hold it, right? They try to hold it. That's all right. You try to hold it. it it's a, it's a. Yeah. That's all right. But we gotta remember, guys. And this is serious. I know you guys are laughing, and you are very young. Everybody born once, and you're gonna die. And when you die, where you're gonna spend your eternity is very important. Okay? Because there's two places that you will be. One or the other, two places you could be, one in heaven and one in hell. And how do we escape hell? It's only, only through Jesus Christ. And you must give your life to Christ to be in heaven because Christ paid a price. You know what's the price he paid for you guys? He died on a cross. He died a cruel death on the cross. So every sin that you do, I do, the pastor do, every sin, he pays for it. He died in our place. So God take out the sin of the world on Jesus Christ. So that we, so, that, so, so Jesus Christ that did not know any sin becomes sinful because of us. And we that are sinful because of Jesus Christ, we become righteous. So one day, one day when you die, God the Father will ask you, what did you do with Jesus? He's going to say, what did you do with Jesus? And if you say, well, I hear, but I did not believe. I think it was a hoax. I think, I just, I, I just never believed then on that day it will be too late while you're alive this is the time that you must be serious and know that the best decision you can make in your life the best decision you will make in your life is to accept jesus christ as lord of my life and when you accept jesus christ as lord as your life he, he will make you a new person so the old things will be gone. All the old habits will be gone. And he will guide you, right? He will guide you along the way. He will protect you. So, so when, when Christ died for you, he don't, he don't just die for you to go to heaven. He died to protect you right here also. Because some, some days you're going to be lonely. Some days you're going to be sad. And you can call upon Jesus because he promised that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. So... We're going to have, like I said, new things, new car, new house. You need a new life. Because this life that we are living right now must change. It's not acceptable to God. Until we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. It's like a person have a million dollars in the bank. And they give you, uh, they write you a note and say, this note will get you the money. But you give it a note and you walk with it, but you never cash it in. You just walk with it, but the money's there, but you never went and get it. You never cash it in. Many people, just like you, they're going to be talking. They're going to be laughing when people tell them about Jesus. And they're going to do all kinds of stuff. But there's a day going to come. Judgment day when you got to an answer. Did somebody tell you about Jesus? Did you believe? Did you do what he said you're supposed to do? Accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life? Did you just laugh? Did you thought it was a joke? The God that made this universe, the God that made you, your mom, your pop, your grandma, all generation, whether you're black, white, it doesn't matter who you are. Whether you're rich, you're poor, 
big or tall, one day we must answer to God, what did you do with Jesus? And that day, they said after death, there is judgment. And on that judgment day, all of us must answer to God, what did you do with my son, Jesus? Did you believe in him? Did you put your life in him because he paid a price? Can you imagine somebody went and died for your sin? This is not guilty, but you are guilty. I am guilty of sin. And Jesus died for my sin. And I said, I don't believe in him. I don't believe this stuff. And everything is written in that Bible. If you want to know more about it, read your Bible. Everything in the Bible, okay?